There's often a myth that selective mutism equals shyness. However, this is not the case. Children with selective mutism are quiet and often polite, and this can be misinterpreted as shyness. Children who are shy do experience varying levels of anxiety in new social situations, but after a brief warm-up period, they're able to join the kids playing on the playground. They're able to share details about their new favorite toy with a new or unfamiliar adult or even a child. Children with selective mutism are more than just shy. The level of anxiety that they experience is far more impairing. For example, while at school, they are unable to raise their hand to ask a question in class or to ask to go to the bathroom or to ask a question about that math problem that they were working on that was so difficult. In some cases, even when children are severely injured, children with selective mutism are much less likely or are unlikely to ask to go to the nurse or the teacher um, if they were hurt and will actually wait till the end of the day to let their parents know how hurt they were. Although selective mutism can co-occur with social anxiety disorder, these two anxiety disorders are distinguishable. In treating selective mutism, we've observed children with a selective mutism diagnosis only to be running around in the playground with the rest of their classmates, throwing the ball, catching the ball, you know, pointing to, th to things, gesturing, grabbing to get their point across. They're simply just not speaking. Whereas children with selective mutism and a co-occurring social anxiety disorder are not only not speaking, they're behaviorally inhibited as well, meaning they look frozen in their expressions and in their actions. They are not likely to be running around or pointing to get their point across. The added fear of being negatively judged in these social interactions leads them to feel paralyzed. The good news is, regardless of whether a child has a selective mutism disorder only or a co-occurring social anxiety disorder, with early intervention and effective treatment, these anxiety disorders can and do get better. For more information, please visit us on childmind.org.